Hello and um, welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fongunuel of Let Us Farm. So today we are looking at a critical issue that um, is affecting the fishes that you saw on the display. I'm still going to play the video so that you see it um, and you know let me explain to you in case you are having such type of problem what you're going to do to like you know settle yourself out of the situation so this is let us fan page and all we do here is we do practical knowledge of all our agri production if you're having any issue in your farm simply do a two to three minute video and send to me so when i get this video i will be able to help you sort out this problem these services are absolutely free remember we don't have any closed group we are not charging you to teach you anything it's all done here for free if you've not subscribed can you subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell once i drop a video you will see it so just watch this video i'll be right back to explain to you what's happening and the way forward please so help me i don't know what's wrong with these fishes look at their skin look at look at the skin though i don't know what is this one though eh? This one is not dead, but possibility with that. Look at the skin. Yeah. Look at the skin. I don't really know. Welcome back. So, like um, the video I just played now, um, it's actually a disheartening uh, uh, sight. You know, when I, I got the video, this was the first time I'm seeing something like this. But again, it all revolves around the same issue of um, infection in catfish farm. So the owner actually, this thing is actually discouraging the owner because this is his first attempt. So I try to understand what exactly went wrong. But then again, there are some pertinent issues that could actually lead to that. So if you watch those fishes, it looks like, you know, the, the video is even irritated because it looks like something like fishes, the, um, the grasses are growing out of the body of the fish or like sand is like growing out of the body of the fish. So technically, it's a little bit something that when you look at, if you are not, if you are photosensitive, it may affect you. But then, um, it's an infection in the fish, on the fish skin. And there are some certain things that could actually trigger this infection you know yeah these things are they are not only limited to but they could be one it could be from because these fishes are were actually stocked in an eating pond so after the stocking these things started happening so this thing that could be as a result of the ph level of the water I asked him to test the pH, though I think I've not gotten all this information from him, but it could be as a result of the water pH of that particular pond. It could happen. Then that's one. Then number two could be that there is like a chemical leakage on the floor. You know, when you dig an eating pond, every soil has some chemical composition. Sometimes it could be that it contains some elements that you don't even know before digging a pond. And then when you dig this pond, issues may now start to arise. That doesn't mean that you are wrong digging the pond. Then no, it's you know, it's like I said, it could come up because of a chemical reaction or composition of a particular place where you just dug your pond. Not really your fault, but I'm just saying it could be as a result of that. Then again, it could also be as a result of things that we are put in the pond after digging it. You may not know, some people may have thrown things into the pond and this is mixing up with the water and there could be a reaction like this. Now, if you have something similar to this, the first point of call for treatment is drain out all the water in the pond. Now, there are many other alternatives, but I'm telling you what will work like magic. You drain out the water in the pond, relocate the fishes out of that pond. Sometimes when you dig a pond and you didn't treat the pond, this may happen. Listen, the treating I mean here, I don't mean putting plantain leaves. No, using such things can even lead to this infection. Yes, and the reason is simple. Like when people come to me, they say, oh, that um, they saw videos where people say you should use plantain leaf, use poultry dogs. The problem with all those things is that you don't actually know um, 
the infection that are on those things. So when you soak them in the water and you put fish, whatever they have will be discharged into your pond and your fishes will now take it up, which is bad. So you can imagine if you get poultry waste from a, a, a farm that suffered salmonella disease and you put it in your pond, because you don't know, you just collected the waste, you put it in the pond. And this uh, feces, they all, all already have salmonella. Now this salmonella is transferred to your fishes. It becomes chaotic because almost all your fishes will go. I'm just giving an explanation for you to understand why it's not good to bring such type of things into the pond. I'm not saying that this is what is happening to this fish now so that you don't misunderstand me. So, like I said, the first point of um, treatment that you use in this situation like this, any scenario like this, the first thing you do is to drain out the water in the pond. Now, if you have an alternative pond, if you have like a second pond, once you drain out the water, pack all the fishes to the alternative pond. Then when you put the fishes in the alternative pond, they now have new environment. Then you look for fish biotics. Now, when you want to use the fish biotics, reduce the water content in this pond by three quarter, leaving only one quarter of the fish content in the pond. Then soak them with that fish biotics for two hours. After two hours, increase the water level to what it's supposed to be. Repeat this exercise for the next three days. After that, your fishes will come back to life. But in case you don't have a second alternative pond, it becomes tricky. Because once you drain out all this water, put in fresh water from a, another source. If you want to use fish biotics in a big earthen pond like this, it's going to cost you so much money because of quantity you will use so you can use salt but if you are using salt make sure you don't use more than one rubber of salt this is your this, uh, the northerners they call it uh, no in the west they call it mudu fill it up with salt and pour in a big eating pond at least the eating pond that you pour this salt should be like um should be like uh, 20 by 20 eating pond you pour that Mudu, it will be fine. But if you have a small pond and you go and heap salt, I have never said you should do that because if you do that, it will be counterproductive. The salt will become an agent of killing to finish your fishes. So if you have a smaller pond, go and buy fish biotics. That is the best you can use there. You know, that's okay for you, less risk and will work effectively. Like I said, do that for three days. And then you will see the result. So these things now, there is no particular name you can give it because this is an infection which could be as a result of what is inside the pond before the fishes enter there. Now, if you are thinking of what is the treatment you give your eating pond before stocking, like I have always said, once you finish digging an eating pond, pump out the whole water in that eating pond go and buy what we call industrial salt it's sold in the bag it's not the normal salt we use it's industrial salt so call it lime it's industrial salt we'll pour it inside that pond just pour it inside the whole pond then leave the pond for three to seven days after that stock your fishes so this thing helps to like treat the pond for you so with that you don't have any much problem so i don't know if i'm able to have you know, explain to us what is the cause and what is the solution to this? If I have not, kindly use the comment section and tell me. Then if you are having any issue in your farm, do a two to three minutes video and send to me. I will be able to help you solve your problem. Until I come your way next time, I remain yours. Melifon Mel Ugoff Letters Farm. Keep farming. See you off life.